Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to day 27 of Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. My goal for this layout today is to finish off this Echo Park New Day collection. I have a 112 by 12 sheet of paper, a paper pad. I also have the Brutus Monroe Sophisticated Spring Paper Pad because everything matches. I've um, got my two photos of B because there's a lot of B stuff left. So that's my goal, you guys. <laughs> Day four. We definitely want to figure out how to use this is what I've got. I've got this sheet and this half sheet outside of six by six paper pads. So we're going to make it happen. So let me study the sketch, see what I need to pull in, and I will be right back. I've got the bases of the page down. I was saving all the B stuff that I could to use for a layout with B. So we've got the B paper. I am not really following the sketch. <laughs> We're just going to have to be honest about that. Um, but I do have a B up here. We're going to go ahead and stick a B down here. I've definitely went rogue on this one. I mean, I've got that one photo, but outside of that, we are... I've actually got two photos. It's just the way it looks like it's going to happen. Um, and then it's because... I just started creating. I loved the sketch. I will have to get another run at it one day. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and pop down these little hive rules. Take off a little bit of that. Pop under. I'm just trying to really use up this collection. Um, I am out of 12 by 12 papers now. And this is all I have left of the 6 by 6 paper. There is no more ephemera. I do have these three little hexes and some washi outside of that. We got nothing. I did actually use the washi up there. Right. See what we can get used. Oh no. Trying to figure out where I can get stuff popped in, so we're just gonna put that there. Cluster at the top. Steeples. Triple piece over on that side. Okay. Here's the back side.
I'm going to come in with a few of these sequins and I'm going to call it. I am going to throw away these two, these three pieces, this empty ephemera pack. And I am going to get rid of um, all of this stuff because there is no collection to go with it and it is scraps. So I know everybody's going to go, oh! and it's going to be okay. Oh, we're almost done with D27. I do have this Brutus Monroe pack that matched very well, so that is staying. And my tray is empty, so we will get this stuck over here. And we'll, um, fill that up with the next collection that I'd like to use up. So this is, makes me feel really good, you guys, to be able to come in and create all the layouts that I did using this collection. Um, it was when I was a member of the Hip Kit Club. I still have uh, two of those. Oh, we got three of them. I'm going to put, oh, there's one. Yeah, we'll what do we have? I didn't even realize I had that one left. All right. So we're going to go ahead and create. Down. Okay, using all the little flower bits. One more area we can put, so we're going to put it right. One, two, and three. There, all right. I'm going to come in and use some of these big ones. And this is a Spiegel Mom scrap sequin mix. What is it called? It is wearing white. Yeah, I'm being messy and just kind of using my fingers. Oh, some of these smaller ones. They're not iridescent, so that's fun. There are some that are and some that aren't. Just trying to sort through. Is that's okay. We're just gonna three, 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 three. All right. I just use my little sequin dish there. This is my barely art. This is the equivalent of art glitter glue, and I'm trying to use it because. Just drying up in that little nozzle. Sequin dish. I recommend this to everyone because it's really easy to just sneak it out. That one wasn't as easy. All right. That is going to do it for today, which is day 27. Um, in case you didn't see, I do have a circle back there. Uh, used up that. Um, I cut apart four of the um, 
this by six cut apart and use those to, you know, make some nice wonky layering behind the photos. Up here, I did take a strip of washi and I matched it to the color. Um, so what color did I use? I used... I want to say speckled egg. Yeah, I used speckled egg and just ran it on the white so that it would... White the top of the washi just so that it would bring some of this blue up there. And I am super duper loving it. Got all the bee stuff used and we are done. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to check everyone else out that is playing along. Do all the fun YouTube things. Like, subscribe, join channel memberships. Check out Facebook groups. Comment. We love to hear from you. And I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.